And Happy Monday, Hardies. This is Heart to Heart. We tried to call it Hardy's Heart to Heart, but if you can say that three times fast, then you're better than we were. But we are here after the spectacular season premiere, and I am joined by some other admins. This is Dawn Bateman, and I'm from Texas. I'm Annette, and I'm from South Carolina. And, John and I'm Tinker. still Mark, and I'm from San Diego. Hold on. And now, drum roll, please. Well, I need, yeah. you know what? I'm, I'm coming to you from a bunker somewhere deep beneath the. That the was earth. what I was thinking. I was like, where are we? Yeah, like, I was worried. I didn't know, or... considering how last season ended, I wasn't sure. But <laughs> but now I realize I can climb out. So I will, I will come out after this. It's like the session. Today Show. It's going to be where in the world is John Tinker every episode. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, I will come out because I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Um, it does feel like we're off to a fresh start. And I really love that. Just thrilled. Well, it was a crazy and wonderful night. I think we're all feeling a little Hardy's hungover. We were at, we trended at four nationally on Twitter. And to me, it just felt like old times. I mean, it was the cast yeah. and crew were out in force and there was such an enormous, I don't know, goodwill, I felt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did you guys feel? Yeah, Same? me too. Yeah, yeah, that was, it was so it, like heart hearkening to, you know, season four i mean it was just really uh everything everyone was there and uh kind of communicating and things like that and and poking jokes and things like that so the whole twitter world was really um was good great that's great it was great fun so we're gonna kick off um with leah hardwick from saint charles missouri Missouri, Missouri. It depends on which state side of the state you're from. I'm from Kansas City. And so we would say Missouri and people from St. Louis would say Missouri. But, so I'm not sure. St. No. Charles, Missouri wants to know what your, fa what your favorite part of the episode was, John. Okay, my favorite part. And I'm going to, you sent me these, Mark. Thank you for sending these questions beforehand. So I'm going to be on book a little bit. Um, these are great questions. My favorite moment in the episode was when uh, Minnie comes into the jail and gives Gowan breakfast and they sit down, he starts to eat and she said, would you like, maybe we should say grace. And he says, okay, if you'd like. And she prays and he does not. I, well, I don't know that he doesn't, but his eyes are up. Clearly he's looking at her. This is the beginning of a real journey for him that's, that will come to what I really love is a, is a real another step in, in, Gowan's trip to wherever that is he's going but but that small moment for me and I didn't script that I don't think mm. I wrote he he keeps his eyes open I may have but I think Martin kept his eyes open and taking a cue from that we moved along it's one of those happy accidents um and, and I just in general love the, the Canfields they're they're giving and and loving. They're firm as he was with his son, as he was with his son last night about doing his chores. But they're concerned about other folks, and and they're I don't know. Looks like they may make a run to buy the cafe. Mm. Beautiful. Good. Yeah, it was a beautiful moment. I did notice that that Henry kept his eyes open. So he's the, he he's a complex actor, Mr. Mm -hmm. Lots of interesting choices for him. Uh, it's one of my favorite things is, uh, unless it's so antithetical to where we're trying to go. I love the actors, all of them are so smart. I love to see the things that they do and the, the spin, the spins that they put on the ball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are smart. They're keeping us hopping on these interviews too. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Annette, you want to share? Sure. Um, I loved our introduction to little Jack and all his glorious stickiness. <laughs> and it reminded me of how Rosemary used to refer to children as sticky and how much she's changed. Now she and Lee are the designated guardians for little Jack. They are. And speaking of calls, calls back, callbacks, callbacks. Um, I wrote that line about the taffy. And then, and then um, there's, I had no clue. I had forgotten that line. Ah. 
uh, earlier. And that was just a thing that I did. And later in the season, it's too early for a, a hidden heart, but Pascal added a line that is a callback to that line, which is a callback now to the previous line. So that's part of what I, you know, is so uh, fun in watching a, a show um, is the is the history and and the things that line up. So um, little yeah, things sure. like that are fun too. Little details like that. And isn't he fantastic, Highland? Oh, oh yeah, so cute. And and Peter had to go back. In fact, um, the 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 twins had come, and and it was clear at the beginning of the season, Mom, we're done. <laughs> so there was a moment there. Um, in the scene when, she, when um, in the heat of day, that little boy is being held by, that's a double. That is a double. That's neither of the twins and it's not Highland. We hadn't found Highland yet. So we had a double and there were some other scenes where we had to double him up. But then we went back months and months later and Peter came in and matched those shots. So the shot of Highland saying, hi, buddy. That was done much later than the original scene. Oh, With interesting. Yeah. Huh. And he's just... What a pip. What a pip. Yeah. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Yeah. No. Yeah, we all are. Yeah. So one of my favorite um, scenes, and the, it's the first time that I, like, dropped jaw, like, <gasps> was the um, the guy, Jerome Smith, um, for the money, uh, mining company. Yes. And uh, that, that was a moment that was hearkening to season one. So that was really an interesting conversation. We had that, uh, you know, in getting together in the writer's room at the very beginning of the season, talking about what, what long season arcs could take place. That was one of those things that we thought, now what are we going to do with the oil company? How do we move it ahead? And then um, for all of you hardies, and I, I love attention to detail, we went back and looked at the, some of the paperwork. It was something Smith. I don't think it was Jerome, but we named him Jerome Smith and brought him up. And, and there's a lot that's going to happen in that storyline with Mr. Smith. And then another gentleman who, who joins Mr. Smith. And uh, as you can see, the, Fiona has kind of st stuck her foot in the bucket at the moment. Oh. And, yeah. and this is, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's really starting to unwind a, a significant story this year. Wow. No, it was really interesting. So love that, that oh, whole good. journey. I'm looking good. forward to it. Oh, good. Well, my favorite moment, and this is totally selfish, is because yes, I'm a so selfish, Mark. Because <laughs> I am a preacher's kid. And I remember standing there after worship, <laughs> like, Mom, can we leave already? Can we leave? And I just love that little restless moment outside of the church you know, with Cooper and Angela starting to, you know, get on each other's nerves. And clearly we're going to see something going on with Cooper. And so Terry, I want to make sure I get her name right. Terry Musselman Tusher, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, from Michigan, wants to know, is that preacher's kid angst? Is it, you know, what's going on with Cooper? What's happening? I think it does, for us, it does include preacher kid angst. It includes uh, you know, Cooper's a thinker um, and, and he wrestles with life far more than Angela. I mean, if you remember, um, uh, Minnie said, I think either Minnie or Joseph said, isn't it amazing that even given all of her um, trials and what she's been through, she never questioned it. She's never, and Cooper is the one to say, why her? Why dad? I don't get it. So that lit a fuse, that's lit, and that's, he's been wrestling with that, why my sister, why should this happen to her, why her, why not me, why anyone, and, and you know, his father being a preacher, he, so he's wrestling in part with his father, and he's wrestling in part by extension with, with God, so there are, he's going to have some of that stuff throughout the season, and he is just a, a, a deep thinker, he feels things deeply, and um, should we go a season 10 that that will continue a bit but in a slightly different um a slightly different uh, way um but we we love those things and 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 having the kids be brother actual brother and sister you can feel a little bit of that zetsing is is true and and then they do things i love it i don't know who told them to do these things because it 
it just sort of didn't occur to me, but as as we're writing, you know, they're they're adding things. The kids are adding things. Like there's a balloon, and he's he's waving, and and I just love that with Cooper helping his sister, and it's so clear they love each other, and yet they they do have that brother sister, you know, give and take. Yeah, very I love, cool. Yeah, I, I was going to say I love the idea that he was um, immediately describing the the situation. Like that's what he does so right. it was really like a and moment. again it's that like, may have been it may have been a, 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 a i don't know who brought it up it wasn't scripted it, it's obviously what should be there and and, and I'll, i love that they did that but um well that's a lot yeah, of that's layers a cooper, that's a cooper story that we don't want it to come and go and be resolved because i don't think it's easily resolved especially mm -hmm. when you're that age and if you're your your father is who he is and God is God who he is. And maybe my father isn't who he is and all of those little mm -hmm. things. Yeah, that's a lot of layers between being brother to somebody who's visually impaired and always called upon to be her helper, to be, you know, visible to the whole town because you're the preacher's kid, to have this faith wrestling and regular dad wrestling. That's really going to be interesting to see that play out wow I, I so hope we get the chance to do that yeah. love it that's Wonderful. great so um a lot of of uh questions uh, curiosity about the hot air balloon so um there's a lot of uh questions about the technicals you know the shooting and things like that but for um the narrative perspective can you tell us about why a balloon in that as, first as episode. as opposed to anything else or just why do that yeah thing? yeah just just what was the um kind of i think it was just idea. A, I, I i i don't recall the genesis of the idea you know i don't know that i like to use the term wow factor but we thought it would be it sounded it felt like something lucas would do if this balloon came in came to ah. town and um it, it's not a hot air balloon it's a helium balloon which is in fact something that was um they had back then and uh, and it just felt like what well, ultimately why i think it was justifiable in the narrative is is it's lucas asking is is i'm not being terribly articulate now or ever but getting uh elizabeth in a place that's vulnerable without her child and in a place of possible danger and lucas asking for her trust mm -hmm. not saying i love you just saying yes trust. Just saying, oh, interesting. Uh, okay. So that, that that was really what it was all about, um, and we and um, there were talks of there had been talks about bringing it back, but but we we hadn't yet, and um, uh, it was a Peter really oversaw Peter and Heather Nevin uh, really oversaw all of the CGI of that of doing that. They did a great job, and um, you know at, at times we would suspend the basket ourselves from a crane and. And then we would have the wider shots with the balloon and um, it, it just was, we thought it looked good. And and um, I, what I love is always Hallmark has a great way of going through all of culling through all the footage and finding moment shots that really make you want to tune in. I think, well, that's a beautiful shot. I'll watch that show. I wonder what's that's going right. on. Yeah, yeah. I that's think right. it, wasn't, it wasn't anything more or less than that. But, but again, the trust was what was key. That was- Sure. That, that's what justified it being a part of the narrative for us. Mm -hmm. I think you and the other showrunners over the years, because we've been blessed over nine seasons to have incredible talent throughout, but it's funny how- Who's your bag, Mark? Some, come on, tell me. Oh, tell come me. on, come on. <laughs> Sometimes the narrative just so speaks to what the Hardy's community is kind of going through. Mm -hmm. I mean, like uncannily that, you know, the plague- last year you know i mean that was crazy the flu was it the flu epidemic that we had you know that was written in chicken box mm -hmm. sorry yeah. um yeah i mean there's just it's sort of uncanny the spirit may be moving but to me it felt like we were letting go you know throwing overboard some of that rival rivalry from last year and just lifting up you yes know, that's what, what we were doing about. that's what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> we knew it no, you good know what? Answer, I, good answer. Good answer. Work it with feels, me. Work though, with me. I mean, I mean that I, that's almost better than than deliberately doing it. If if that's sort of a an extra 
thing you get. I love that. That's fantastic. And 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 that is part of. Uh, I'm not going to call it art, but let's call it art. Um, whether it's television or paintings or music, it's what do you get out of it and what do you read right. into and bring away? So I love that, Mark. I, I never would have thought of it, but but subliminally or unconsciously, mm -hmm. I say, maybe that was mm -hmm. part of it. And part of it, I have to I have to say, um, and I know this is a concern, so I'll address it now. It's a question, and I, I'm going to jump ahead, and I hope that's okay. The horse Newton is okay. Newton will be okay. I I oh, oh. I said. I said after we did the balloon, you float off, and then you're suddenly that's a jarring moment, and it's a little unsettling. And and I don't, and and I'm not going to speak for the other writers, but I typically don't like sending people off to bed upset. And and I actually started to I started rallying for not keeping that in there and just letting it happen off camera, there's been an accident. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to Hallmark's credit, I, I don't know whether they were right or wrong. I don't know whether I would have been right or wrong. We left it in. They didn't ask us to take it out. Um, I don't know that I, I think given the second chance, I don't think I would leave it in. It's just unsettling to me. It was, it felt a little tacked on. And um, I don't know, I, I liked, you know, especially now, Mark, that you're saying the, the giving up, the throwing overboard, the floating, the lightness of it all. Um, I feel like, ah, but um, it's what's what's shot and edited is shot and edited. And so uh, what's important is, is they'll be, um, they'll be back. Uh, Newton will be back for sure on all Thank fours. Thank you. Thank you. Horse, yeah. We have a lot of kids, of course, who watch. Yeah, and that's the, a lot I, of horse lovers. So I, I don't yeah. I don't mean to flagellate myself over this, but but I I, I don't know, maybe that's a I, I it might have been exactly the wrong call to leave that in there. And maybe we would have been just as you know able to go out on the balloon. Well, but, you know, it's interesting. Jeanette Stevens, one of the admins, and hopefully she won't mind that I'm sharing. Um, said that in this case, it was just so good that Hallmark in its marketing had released photos so that we, you know, we have a sense that Nathan's, you know, going to be okay. Okay. But we just needed them to. Oh, release yeah. And a photo it, again, in, in Hallmark's, okay. yeah. And in Hallmark's wisdom, again, they not only, sh yes, that's right. I thought that was very smart of them to put that there, not only in photos, but in the, in, in the, the preview. Tees, yeah. In the tease. Yeah. Um, so uh, I take full blame and responsibility for having put that in motion. I think if I had another swing at that, I would have said, you know what, I just want to go off on a nice moment. I, you know, I really, I guess once in a while it's okay to do that, but I, I don't typically like doing that. It's let's send people off to bed with, with dreams in their, with pleasant dreams in their head. Of course, it's on at eight o'clock now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So there's a moment when Nathan and Lucas are standing by the porch post mm -hmm. outside the Queen of Hearts and Nathan looks at the balloon. And I'm wondering, is there a budding camaraderie with maybe a little bristle to it? Yes. What, what I love now, now that the, 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 dare I say, triangle has been resolved, what I love now, uh, my, perhaps my second favorite moment of last night's show was the scene, was the uh, discomfort between Nathan, yeah. Lucas, and Elizabeth in the saloon. And, and in fact, uh, Kevin McGarry added the great. So she says, uh, oh, so I'll be with it. Great, great. And they look at me this, great. Uh, it's just, they have to work this out now. What is the shape of this triangle? Is it a rhombus? Is it just a one-on-one? -on -one? What is it? And I really like, I like, you, you know, you can write it all day long, but they play it great. And so mm -hmm. Elizabeth and Nathan have to find their new relationship and Lucas and Nathan will have to find their new relationship. And um, the guys that's, you know, one of the arcs for the season is where are they going to wind up? Uh, you know, is it bristling to brawling or, or bristling to buddies or, and, and again, um, we like, you know, protracting it, not, not for any other reason than I, it feels a little more natural so that they don't resolve things quickly. And, and that, things aren't uh, cleaned by the end of the hour. So it's gonna take a while as it would in life. You know, there's this, you know, will he ask Nathan to drive or, or uh, Lucas to drive or, or Elizabeth? 
and we deal with that. And so the, it's it's really nice. And there's there's really nice scenes between the, the men themselves and other nice scenes. I, I love the relationship that's beginning to develop between Elizabeth and, and Nathan, because that's got to change. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was kind of unexpected, but very welcome. Yeah, they, they, they what's great, is they those two guys really like each other? Chris and Kevin really get get on, and um, we love that. And to see to see them, you know, zetsing each other is is fun. Oh, definitely. So, um, you know, just kind of switching gears. Um, well, not really, because talk about Lucas. Uh, <laughs> Lucas has a thing about clocks. Um, they're the pocket watch um, season, what, season seven, he was always looking at the time. And then the uh, this uh, premiere episode talking about the clock. Um, can you have any insight for that? I didn't, you know, when we talked about guys, when we talked about doing these Monday morning quarterbacking things, I didn't realize how naked I was gonna be. And, and I think maybe that's part of what will be fun. Uh, I had no clue about what you referenced about the clocks <laughs> and I never put it together. Now, so again, going back to Mark, you know, what you get out of it and what, and what not only the audience may be unconsciously or consciously locking into, it's what I might be locking into. And it also has to do um, with, I've often found that actors will come and if you're really in synchronicity with an actor, they'll come and say, stop listening outside my window because you've tapped into something that I'm going through. So I, I think it speaks, it bespeaks of the show functioning well, or when it hits on, you know, it's just, um, it, it's not serendipity, but it's really, I, I just love those moments. Now, um, the clock moment, it was, it started out as something we had Lucas because he had a busy day and he's, he, it was gonna be business versus his personal life and things like that. But I do think again, a lot like the season and, and the balloon ride and, and the clocks and the things like, I do think there is something to that. And um, it's just a matter of being in sync and, 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 and it becoming a whole um, narrative than just little bits and pieces. A, it becomes a narrative with a synthesis to it. Um, but thank you for bringing that to my attention. No, it's and good. By the way, uh, as any any writer will, I'm going to steal. I may steal some of these things. <laughs> I may take them back and say, well, "I like that thread. Let's pull that thread a little mm -hmm. farther." And and Beth and er and Derek and Allie are are good at those too. They're really um, they've been around a while and and teach me a yeah. thing all the time. I say Derek has been there the longest, right? I think Derek's he been here. I think, the, one. I think he's the, the uh, senior, mm. so the senior senior. Uh, <laughs> and, and Allie is the newest. Allie, who's come on like a house of fire. Wow. Love it. She writes, yeah. she has a script later on in the season. And again, to, uh, a lot of this stuff is all mixing. I mean, we all contribute and we all massage and do and so that's great. Annette, you want to take us back to the Queen of Hearts? What's that question? Yes, um, Anita Adams DeBrossi from Dayton, Ohio asks Will we see more of Gustav this season? We saw how Bill referenced him last night in his typical curmudgeonly way. Yeah, I, and you know, when he said that through no fault of, of Jack Wagner's, I thought, oh, I'm just kind of tired of, of that. It felt old. But the good news is a Carl Mercer is fantastic. And I just love when a character comes onto a show in a very small supporting role and they they just tickle it. They, it's great. So yes, you will. The, the short answer is yes. He's oh, fabulous. Great. And and there's actually a surprise. There's a surprise even the um, characters didn't see coming about Gustav. He's delightful. He's really fabulous. He is. And I even bought some smoke paprika. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've all been like, what is this smoked paprika? We got to try it. It's amazing. <laughs> is it really? Really adds. Oh, yeah. Every time I open it, I smell it. And it's just so yummy. <laughs> I love it. Wow. I love it. Okay, so meanwhile, Allie is away yes. in our very soft-hearted 
Mountie misses her already. He's just dropped her off. And Caroline Walsh uh, from South Bend, Indiana, because you can't get anything by the Hardys, um, wants wow, to know which, about grand, to. which grandparents is he with? Because we know that Nathan's parents are separated. I'm so. about to. And speaking of Allie Devereaux, she reminded me that when we discussed this in the room, uh, okay, first let me answer the question. It is, it's Nathan's <laughs> parents, Nathan's mother and father, grandparents. If you remember the last time we saw him, he said, I'm leaving to get the job to try and repair things with. Oh, so, right. So oh, we right. are, we're okay. presumed, we presumed that he succeeded. They got back together. And we, I, I suppose we could have thrown in a couple of lines and maybe should have, but they're back together. That was an off screen reconciliation. Okay. And they're on the, they're on Very the. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it, we're all eager for Allie to come back. Wonderful. Awesome. We are too. We can't wait to see her. Okay. So Ben Rosenbaum, who plays Hickam, shared on Twitter last night that Loretta and Rothgar choreographed their little song and dance. Can you tell us more about the musical number and the change in the set from Dottie's shop to the soda fountain? Everybody's curious about this. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll go first. We just sort we felt the, the dress shop was being a little underused. We also felt that pharmacies were becoming quite something and we needed another place for social activities to happen for ice cream and little things like that. And a, an apothecary, we thought that the logical thing perhaps would be a pharmacy ice cream shop. Um, that's not to say you won't see Dottie's or a dress shop again. Um, I almost gave away something. Uh, but uh, that was just the genesis. That, that was the genesis of that. Yeah, see, now I'm going to, I'm going to get pour a couple of drinks in. <laughs> um, oh, uh, now we're, we're going to get, um, there'll be a, that, that will become a, 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 a central place for a lot of activity in Hope Valley. Um, so we wanted something that was going to serve a lot of, uh, a lot of people, a lot of scenes. As far as the song, that that was something I wrote and then sent to John Serrata. We we played with it together and then put it on its feet. But yes, uh, totally. That was Rothgar and and um, Loretta putting a little a great spin on it. Wow! Uh, yes, we had. I just put a little dance and and so darling. She's. A, I didn't know, but she really was a dancer and. And that will, that's another clue of something Ooh. that's coming later in the season. Um, Hidden so hearts abound. That's, that's that. Let me, uh, let me take an unofficial poll here quickly. Um, Rothgard's beard. I loved it. I love like it. it. I didn't so even really think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not well, a facial that's hair different. fan and I really like it. said, what's different about him? <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you like he he just he he arrived with it. Everyone arrived with a lot of facial hair this year. <laughs> All arrived with facial hair. Well, Kevin, year. not to give it away, but I think Kevin mentioned in an interview that you were considering doing some kind of narrative where all the men had facial hair or a number of them tried to do beards and then dropped it. I don't know if that's the case, I, but yeah, I think we did we have just some figured everybody was in the process of growing it. To... Yeah, I figured we had some discussion like that. You know, I, I've mentioned that I really don't like not being there. Last season, I wasn't up there. It's really lovely to be there at the start of the season when, when they come, it's like being back at school and we all know what that's like. Oh. And, and some people show up yeah. with, with, very different clothes or different hairstyles or beards or must so it's really a bit like that and and to see how martin cummings showed up or how kevin mcgarry showed up it's it's fun and then we and then we all either say yes or no or trim it let it grow yeah. wow. or like these kids javen a, a my foot gosh taller and... crazy <laughs> really i know crazy. wow yeah and 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 you know opal and and there are there are other kids that they just are exploding yes but i do have a question about um gowan's entrance yes. it was like really um kind of dramatic you know with the car and then all of a sudden he went the hammer Locked and out of his <laughs> office yeah yeah it, and i was like i'm like really curious about okay so is he angry or is he 
anxious or, you know, I, I was not really, um, I didn't know what to do, but it was like, oh, what's well, going if on? I tell you, you'll be, there'll be one. Fewer. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw on um, changing gears a little bit. I did see in Pascal's tweets last night that she said that her monologue, which I loved the listing of the Broadway shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my gosh did those are all real shows that? she said yeah. that was a last minute you know writing uh, edit and wow yeah. did she nail that, the, that uh, was... those were all real shows that we put in there um yeah pascal pascal is very facile she's very light on her feet and mm -hmm. and can make those things work but just yeah uh, incredible she it felt like a little of that higher intensity past you know rosemary like the village voice has just you know amped mm -hmm. her up a bit it, it um, has I, I think that's right and and again talk about going back to talking about actors being smart you know those are the actors you know you really are thankful for because actors like pascal well all of them i was going to say uh, elizabeth aaron is very smart when it comes to her character they're all smart but they, they they have in their mind what their journey's been and where they would go. And they know I got to bring it up here. I got to bring it down here. They're mm -hmm. all very smart. Yeah, so, so the performances John, are so great. Good. It, it, we can't wait to see this episode. I mean, between the mayoral results that we're going to get, we're going to get, you know, memory loss, amnesia. I mean, it's sort of dizzying, but... We will see you next week, we hope. And yes, Hardy. Yes, me. And, and I just got to, I'm telling you, I just got to plug. This season really starts to, it's a train leaving the station. It starts to chug and it really picks up speed. And it's, and it is good to be on this ride again and, and freewheeling. So thank you all for, for sticking with us um, through some difficult storytelling. And um, thank we, you. We, we really had a good time and, and, we sure really want I want to come back here someday soon and say we have a season 10 pickup Let's, that would ooh, be nice let's um, do that let's we do would it. like that yes. <laughs> we're, <laughs> board, right? we're, we, we're already we're already talking about what we can do so we'll start with next week mm, Tune very in. cool we'll start Thank with you. next week and we'll see where you are from Buckingham Palace to a oh, I'll be out of this shelter. To I'll a be out submarine, of this su shelter. you know, I don't know where you are, but <laughs> in any case, we can't wait to see where <laughs> you take you. us next. And Thank Hardy's, um, please tune in this Sunday on the Hallmark Channel, eight o'clock, and join us on Twitter with the hashtag Hardy's. We'll see you there. This has been Heart to Heart. Thank you. <laughs>